Huling. Ang magandang araw po ulit. Nandito po tayo sa huling segment ng usapan ng ulap at ng pako uh, tungkol sa PWDs, Patient Organizations, and Health Issues. Uh, ito po ulit ay in-organize ng Union of Global Authorities of the Philippines with Ayala Foundation and Access Health International for the 162-52 Health Coalition. Uh, meron po kasing uh, partnership ang um, uh, ULAP with si Ms. Gurley Lorenzo and uh, the Tito Od um, for the, for the uh, tawag natin dito ay DIEP for the Disability Inclusive Elections Program. Uh, ang prinsipyo po nito is that uh, we, we must be able to assist and empower our PWDs and patient groups to be able to vote so that through their votes, may magkakaroon sila ng better representation sa ating gobyerno, including policies, programs, etc. Uh, pwede po ba natin mapag-usapan pa in detail? Uh, bakit po importante nga itong uh, pag-register ng mga PWDs at uh, patient groups? Ano po ba yung current difficulties na nga ito? Go ahead. Sa PWDs, ang talagang uh, difficulty nila, hirap na hirap sila mag-register. Number one, papit sila na hirap na mag-register. Lahat ng registration areas natin, kumitan, nasa second floor, third floor. So, hindi sila makaayaw nilang mag-register. Number one. Number two, pagka pumunta man sila sa registration, kung nagsisiksikin yung mga tao, eh, siyempre, alam na meron, uh, meron na silang konting kapansanan, hindi sila, na-echampera sila, sana nabibigyan sila ng priority. No? Ngayon, uh, dito sa programa ng uh, ULA, PAPO, Asia Foundation, para sa registration, at kasama natin ng COMELEC dyan, nagbibigyan ng special registration ang COMELEC sa lahat actually all over the country nakatulong ang iba't ibang organisasyon para makapag-register ang mga disability. Ngayon, uh, ang may disability naman, pagka nag-register sila, makakaboto na sila. Ang nangyayari kasi, hindi sila makaboto. Ang may problema rin, ang problema rin naman nila sa pagboboto, ganun din wala din, wala rin access doon sa mga precincts. Or parang, ang narinig ko rin po, parang wala mga braille, di ba? Or hindi yung sila yeah. makapag-assist? Yung assist yung for, for registration, wala mga ganon. So, that's why this program, uh, kasi di ba, meron tayong saying na, kung hindi ka bumoto, huwag ka magreklamo. <laughs> hindi ka pwede magreklamo, di ba? Hindi ka pwede mag-demand and all that. So, kaya na di disenfranchise, di ba, nawawala ng boses yung mga PWD at saka patient groups. Kasi first and foremost na, hindi sila nakaka-register. So, ito yon So, what we did in partnership with ULAP and TAP at saka PAPO, ay in-engage natin yung mga LGUs, di ba? Na nag-roadshow tayo ngayon. Yes. We've, we've done two roadshows and then one is coming, coming in up. July. Na ang ginagawa natin, ay ginagather natin with the help of the LGU and the governor, minsan, di ba? And we're gathering all the PWDs and all that to explain to them, di ba, the patient groups na ito yung right nyo, ito ang pwede nyo gawin, ito ang dapat mangyari, ito ang services ito ang dapat ng services ninyo yun. Kasi di ba, information is the, is the key in the first step. So, Ms. Gary, you mentioned you know, that you're going around uh, sa mga roadshows natin and talking to LGUs. Um, it's a clear state kasi baka may nanonood sa atin ng mga local chief executives who also are interested to coming up with a full program for their PWDs and uh, patient groups. Ano po yung naging, paano nyo sinend yung message sa kanila? Ano yung naging buy-in when you talk to them? Una-una, when we would go to the LGU, di ba, uh, we would ask them, ano na po ba ang meron kayo? Okay. Diba? Kasi parang hindi top-down na parang nag-implant lang na, eto ho, meron kami ganito. It, it, what if they already have a program? Diba? So what we do is we just connect with the program. Ah, may health program na pala kayo. Ganyan. 
So, before the PWDs, for the patient groups, uh, pwede ho ba i-piggyback na lang natin to? Or pwede ho ba i-add lang natin to? Ganyan. Kasi, in fairness, the, the mayors, most of the mayors have a program naman. Kaya lang, ang nangyayari, di ba? Like when we had our dialogue here with other mayors, tali yung kamay nila. Kasi yung funding nila, meron yung specifications, eh, di ba? Hindi mo pwedeng galawin yan. So, Ayun nga, which we are very grateful for na at least pull up through may, uh, Secretary Jesse Robredo, yeah, di ba, and the ILG, they issued an MC, Memorandum Circular, Memorandum Circular na they can use some part of their funds for this program to mobilize, di ba, the PWDs to come for the registration and for the forum and all that. So, yun yung mga pwedeng, and that's what happened with mayors and ganyan. So, dialogue, just to just to recap, it's dialogue and then representation. Okay. Iakyat, dun sa kailangan iakyat ng mga issues, tutugunan naman ng ULA through NDILG. But for sure po, we're not only looking at government to partner with us, di ba? Meron po bang iba pa mga stakeholders, entities, or mga private, or maybe uh, medical related groups, or maybe nurses, doctors, that you think can help? <laughs> in uh, our efforts for the BWD certification program. Well, actually, halimbawa, ipagpalagay natin yung mga nurses. Ano? Ang dami natin nurses na walang, actually, graduates na wala namang trabaho. So, ang, ang DOH na hired nila yung mga ibang nurses natin na pinapasok nila sa mga ibang hospitals. No? Hindi ko lang malaman ko anong bill number yun or ano program. RN, RN Hills. RN, okay. So, ngayon, pagka nabigyan mo sila ng, nagkar, although ang problema nila, paano ba ang gagawin nila? Ano ba ang kanila talagang gagawin? Ngayon, kung mat, mabibigyan natin sila ng konting training on specific uh, illnesses, that is, uh, sa PWDs, magkakaroon sila ng interest, magkapapas, magkapapasok sila at matulungan nila ang mga PWDs, ang mga ibang uh, illnesses, at pwede naman silang makuha ng mga iba't ibang organisasyon. Sa pagtulong, matutunan nila kung paano i-handle, at mag mag pwede silang ma-hire. Actually, in their own community, they can do a mini-survey. Doon lang sa kanilang kapaligat, sino ba ho dyan ang may PWD? Mapping, sino ho ba dyan ang merong illness? Ganyan. So, doon na lang in her own community, malalaman na niya, ay ang number one palang illness dito ay hypertension. Ay ang number one palang, ang dami palang merong may hydrocephalus dito. Ay ang dami palang may PWDs. Tapos, pwede niyang itugon ito sa kinauhula na ano, mayor, vice, or, ganyan, DOH, or DOH, or their RHU, their municipal health unit, ganyan. Number one pula pala dito ay hypertension. Pwede po ba tayo mag-medical mission para tapos ito ang gamot specifically for hypertension? Para hindi na sa sayang resources. Kasi di ba minsan na may medical mission ko ano-ano ginagawa, at least targeted ang ano mo. Kasi meron kang base, meron kang survey, may data ka, which the nurses can do because they, they know that, that. They were trained to do that. They were trained to see if you have this, if you have that, di ba? Yeah, that's that's one thing that they can do, and they can help the local government with that. Sige po. And, and since po siguro, since we're uh, from national to local, di ba, yes. we're trying to push for private-public partnerships, di ba? Yes. Um, uh, for the private sector po kaya, ano po yung pwedeng ma-contribute ma nila to the efforts of uh, addressing the health needs mm -hmm. of our uh, PWD centers? Ako, kasi we have experience, diba? we also do community work um, with, with my, you know, uh, for senior wellness, diba? What we do is, before we encourage a, a, a private, a corporation to come in, yun nga, we do that survey. May mapping muna, diba? May mapping muna talaga, para hindi rin sayang yung resources ng corporation. Diba? And then when the corporation comes in, we will tell them, this is our part, this is your counterpart. Let's say, oh, kailangan ng, uh, yun nga, yung to build the RHU. Gandahan niyo yung RHU. 
Or lagyan ng ramps. Lagyan ng ramps yung ganyan. They can be the infrastructure. Pero, I, I will always say, na sana the corporations, pa, bago mag-partnership, be sure na may programa, at saka next is ma-institutionalize yung programa niyan. Ikakabit yan dapat talaga sa LGU, sa local health board, saan may policy na magsistay yan. Para kung umalis man sila, umalis si mayor, umalis yung programa, magtutuloy yun. Ang private sector, malaki ang matutuloy yung private sector sa PWDs. No? Kasi actually, ang private sector, uh, ang ano ang kulang sa PWDs? Kulang hindi nakapagkabaho ang PWDs kahit na sila ay skilled and na-train na sila and meron sila. Bakit? Kasi hindi sila binibigyan ng priority. Yeah. So, ang, ang tinukuhan nila normally is able para tayo ang una. Pero, alam mo ba, na meron under the Magna Carta for the person with disabilities, eh, ang private sector ang binibigyan ng incentive para mag-hire okay. ng PWDs. So, sa ganung bagay, kasi kung anong kaya ng able, kaya ng PWDs yan ang matatabi natin sa mga. So, yung malaking bagay, yung pagka susubukan, bigyan ng chance ng private sector, ang PWDs na i-hire siya. So, napaka malawak and uh, very rich ng discussion natin with regard to PWDs and patient groups and their issues. Uh, that completes po our uh, series of uh, interviews with the Philippine Alliance of Patient Organization. Maraming salamat po for being our guest. Thank you Thank for you. having us. Thank, Thank you, Ayala. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ayan, so maraming salamat and, and uh, hanap lang po kayo for other YouTube videos of our uh, health segments, of our health issues, again with the Union of Local Authorities, uh, Ayala Foundation, and NASA Self International for the 162.